Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we'll be showing you how to get the Wrathgiver Sword in Middle-earth Shadow 4. And it's very easy, you know, there's a lot of uh, nonsense people are talking uh, about, you know, how it's very hard and it's the holy grail of the game. It's actually very easy to get. The most I've farmed for this sword is maybe like 20 minutes and it's absolutely broken. You get literal god mode when you get this sword. So the things you need is the fury upgrade for the ground execution. You need to make your killing blow this one for the captain that you intend to kill. And the other thing is you need to kill a captain that uh, has no element on their weapon. So all these are eligible. This should not be farmed. Cursed, poison and fiery captain should not be farmed for this uh, sword. Now, uh, you can get it very easily by simply uh, coming here to Nurnen. This is the actual perfect uh, place to farm them because uh, this whole area is teeming with worms which you use to send death threats to the captains. So as you can see we left one worm right behind us and there's another one spawned to the right. Uh, once you send them a death threat the uh, death threat mission is spawned right here so literally everything is right nearby you don't need to fast travel anywhere every time you want to farm this and just you know once you start the mission the captain will spawn at the entrance of the cave right there and it's very easy to get that tower or something to get them isolated and you can kill them in peace without any gangs interfering so yeah once you get them uh, alone and kill them you should definitely get the wrathgiver sword as long as you send them a death threat to confirm that the uh, gear that you get will be epic and once you kill them with the fury upgrade uh, that should get definitely get you the wrathgiver sword if a sword drops which is unfortunately impossible to guarantee because captains drop you know random gear so yeah you can just uh get anything like armor cloaks uh, runes stuff like that but if you get a sword drop it should definitely be Wrath Giver. So once you get it, uh, it's amazing because again, you you literally unlock God mode and you know you're unstop an unstoppable force. We will definitely be uploading some videos of how we used it in fortress defenses, assaults, uh, tribal showdowns, and stuff like that. Uh, but I hope this video helped you, and if it did, please leave a like and maybe subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. We will definitely get to those as well. And thank you very much again for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye.